In this video, we're going to look at how to find the change of coordinates matrix when we don't already know the relationship between two bases of a vector space. In our last video, we learned that if the vector space V has two bases, B with vectors B1 through Bn, and C with vectors C1 through Cn, then the change of coordinates matrix P from B to C is a matrix where the columns are the C coordinate vectors for B1 through the C coordinate vectors for Bn. So if I want to find the change of coordinates matrix P from B to C, then I would need to express each of the B vectors as a linear combination of the C vectors. That way I know what the C coordinates are for each of the B vectors. And to write something as a linear combination of the C vectors, we need to solve the vector equation x1 times c1 summed up through xn times cn equals bk. Now if I want to solve this vector equation, I would need to row reduce the augmented matrix where I have the column c1 through cn augmented with bk. When I row reduce this, eventually I'm going to end up with the identity augmented with the solution to the vector equation. So it's going to give me the x1 through xn. So x1 through xn. But these x1 through xn are the weights when I write bk as a linear combination of the c vectors. So the x1 through xn are my c coordinates. But once I row reduce the augmented matrix c1 through cn augmented with bk, I end up with the identity matrix augmented with the c coordinate vector for bk. Now the row operations that I needed to perform to row reduce this to the identity matrix on the left does not depend on my vector bk. I can augment all of the vectors b1 through bn. This is equivalent to solving this vector equation for all b1 through bn simultaneously. So when I row reduce this augmented matrix, once I get the identity matrix on the left, on the right I'll have the c coordinate vector for b1 through the c coordinate vector for bn. But if we look at the part on the right, that's the change of coordinates matrix p from b to c. The takeaway is that if you want to find the change of coordinates matrix p from b to c, you want to row reduce the augmented matrix c1 through cn augmented with b1 through bn. And once you row reduce this, you get the identity matrix on the left, and on the right you have your change of coordinates matrix P from B to C. So now let's go through an example. In this example, we have two bases for R2. The bases B consists of vectors 2, 1, and negative 1, 3. And the bases C consists of vectors 1, negative 4, and negative 2, 7. Part A asks us to find the change of coordinates matrix P from B to C. So to do that, we need to make the augmented matrix where we have the vectors from C on the left and the vectors from B on the right. So I have 1, negative 4, then negative 2, 7, augmented with 2, 1, negative 1, 3. So then we row reduce this. For example, I might do row 2 plus 4 row 1. This gives me 1, negative 2, 2, negative 1. Then on the second row, we have 0, negative 1, 9, negative 1. Next, I might do negative row 2, which gives me 1, negative 2, 2, negative 1, 0, 1, negative 9, positive 1. Lastly, we'll do row 1 plus 2 row 2, which gives me 1, 0, negative 16, 1, 0, 1, negative 9, 1. Once we've row reduced this augmented matrix, the change of coordinates matrix P from B to C is just a matrix on the right. So that's the matrix negative 16, 1, negative 9, 1. In part B, we're given that the B coordinate vector for x is negative 2, 1, and we're asked to find the C coordinate vector for x. So remember that to find the C coordinate vector for x, we do P B to C times the B coordinate vector for x. So I just do the matrix multiplication, negative 16, 1, negative 9, 1 times the vector 
negative 2, 1. So this is going to be negative 2 times negative 16 plus 1 times 1. And then on the bottom, we'll have negative 2 times negative 9 plus 1 times 1. So this gives me 33, 19. So again, this means that if the B coordinate vector for X is negative 2, 1, then the corresponding C coordinate vector for X is 33, 19. In this next part, we're asked to find the change of coordinates matrix P from C to B. So we're going the other way around. If I want to find the change of coordinates matrix from C to B, there's two ways you can go about it. One, you can make the augmented matrix where you have B1, B2 augmented with C1, C2, and then row reduce this. In the end, you'll get the identity matrix on the left, and on the right, you'll get the change of coordinates matrix from C to B. Alternatively, if we want to go backwards, what we can do is just take the inverse of the matrix P from B to C. So P from C to B is equal to P from B to C inverse. So here we can just take the inverse of the 2 by 2 matrix that we found in part A. So that's 1 over the determinant, which is negative 16 minus negative 9 times the matrix where we swap the diagonal entries and negate the off diagonal entries. So we have 1, negative 1, positive 9, negative 16. So in the end, this gives me the matrix negative 1 7th, 1 7th, negative 9 7th, 16 7th. So that's my change of coordinates matrix from C to B. So in this last part, we're given that the C coordinate vector for Y is 1, 1, and we're asked to find the B coordinate vector for Y. So if I want the B coordinate vector for Y, I can think about this in two ways. I can multiply P from B to C inverse times the C coordinate vector for Y, or this is the same as doing P from C to B times the C coordinate vector for Y. Either way, what I'm doing is doing the multiplication, negative 1 7th, 1 7th, negative 9 7th, 16 7th, times the vector 1 1. So this gives me negative 1 7th plus 1 7th, negative 9 7th plus 16 7th, which gives me the vector 0 1. So if the C coordinate vector for Y is 1 1, then the corresponding B coordinate vector for Y is 0 1. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching.